Cause boy, I just got paid Living the life, but all these haters Try to keep me in the chair Hey, I'm Christian Taylor I'm from and Sprints From Fayetteville, Georgia Hospitality and Tourism And I'm a junior uh, the fact most people want to know about me is I'm a clean freak. I'm, I'm real passionate about clean things, clean people, I don't know, just all that stuff. It even gets to the point where even after I'm finished jumping, um, I'm most likely to go over there and like, wipe my shoes off and stuff. I just, I'm real, just real passionate about clean stuff, so, um, you know, if, if it can be clean, I'm going to do it. My favorite event would have to be the triple jump, uh, you know, watching it. Uh, the way it feels when, when you um, hit a good jump, you know, it's nothing like it. it it's, it's like flying, and you know, everybody. I feel like everybody wants to, you know, know that feeling what it's like to fly. And I feel like I get to do it, you know, every day at practice, and then in the meet, it's just, you know, that much better. My biggest accomplishment is have to be uh, winning World Youth um, back in the day. It's fine, not that long ago, but um, it seems like back in the day to me right now. But um, yeah, winning that triple jump over there in Czech Republic and. Um, getting that first international experience was just really big and being on that stage and I kind of took that and ran with it, so. Um, my decision to come to Florida, being a Gator, it was, it was pretty easy. Um, you know, I, I had the coach, the coaching staff was very strong and um, you had the athletes coming out of here that were great, you know, Klein Clement and um, the, the factors, the weather factors, the facilities. You know, being in Florida, who can complain with that? It's 75 degrees in, in February, and you know, you got uh, up north, there's snowstorms and stuff, and so it's an advantage that we have over everyone else. But uh, being a Gator, just, just kind of the aspect of um, when I was taking him, I said that he was, you know, not just going to make me into a star athlete, but also to a gentleman, and I've really grown from the experiences I've been here, and I'm just going to take that with me for the rest of my life. My favorite track athlete would have to be Walter Davis. Uh, he's been a he's been in the game for a while. Um, he's still jumping now, but uh, back when he was jumping at LSU, you know, he was jumping big, jumping far. And the thing that really got caught my eye with him is just the fact that he's just had so much fun with it. Um, you know, he just track track and field is you know it should be something fun. And when you when you're in this sport or any other sport, you just have to enjoy what you do to you know make it last long. And um, like I said, he's still jumping now. Uh, you know, five five years later and still doing his thing. So my proudest moment would probably be um, finally winning that team title. Um, we worked so hard and kept getting the second place um, over and over again. And, you know, you, you want to believe, you want to hope for the best, but um, when it actually happens, you know, it's kind of, you're lost for words. And the experience just being there and being with the team, um, you know, it, it was the greatest feeling. And then we got to charter back, which made it even better because it's kind of like, you know, we were VIP. Um, you know, like a professional team or something like that. So, you know, just that whole experience and then coming back and being welcomed by, you know, everybody on campus and the whole Gator Nation was just, it was just incredible. Um, I, I do believe I have a, a lot of rivals out there, anybody I compete with, but um, definitely my biggest competition, you know, and to my advantage, I get to work with them every day is, uh, you know, Will Clay and Omar Craddock, um, just working with them every day and having fun, but, you know, getting the work done too. Um, you know, it's an advantage because we all get to feed off each other and, you know, some of us have uh, different advantages, uh, different things that we can feed off of and learn from and, um, you know, working with each other every day is just, it's just kind of just going to make us all better and we pull each other along, but yeah, definitely these guys I get to work with are just my biggest competitors. Uh, what motivates me in the off season is really um, just being a good role model. I have a younger sister and she also does track too and I kind of just want to, you know, be that role model she can look up to and um, you know, kind of show her that you have to put in the work to get the results. And so, you know, when I come out here every day and I, you know, I call her after practices and tell her what we did and how I felt and just kind of tell her that, you know, you do have to put yourself and you do have to put the work in to, you know, reach that level. Um, and the, during the season, the motivation is, I mean, you know, it's winning. Uh, that's what's always on my mind. And um, if it's personal, you know, it's just winning my event um, to, in the end, contribute to winning the team title. That, you know, that's just always on my mind, you gotta stay hungry. Um, you know, even if you do get the national championship, you know, there's always the outdoor season and then, you know, you just keep pushing for the next season. So it's, it's a non-stop process, but, uh, you know, you just gotta keep it in mind and just run with it. Um, the thing that makes me so versatile, um, I believe it's just mindset. Uh, you know, I, I, I've been blessed and I, I realize that and I'm gonna, you know, take that and run with it. But at the same time, uh, it's really, I really feel like 
it's really just a mental a, a mental state that I have that uh, no matter what I'm in, I, you know, I'm gonna try my best and you know, you, you gotta work hard. And so when we have the long workouts, you know, you, you kind of put the best effort out there so you get the, to learn the feeling for that. And then when we do the short sprints, um, you know, you just you just kind of make the uh, you know the best of it. And so um, I really just feel like my mindset going into the practices, and then when I you know compete, you know, I, I want to be the fastest kid on the block or the, the kid that can jump the farthest. So um, you know, no matter what event it is, it's just the mindset you have that really makes you so versatile. Um, I mean, I'm I'm not really big on superstitions, uh, but I, I definitely say a lot. Uh, you know, a few prayers um, before just to kind of settle myself down. I listen to the music and stuff like that like everybody else does, but in the end I you know I just say a prayer and I step on the runway or I step on you know step into the blocks and you know just kinda hope for the best and hope for the, you know that the best man wins and that everyone's safe and healthy and that you know we can run another day or run you know later that day. So um, nothing really specific but uh, you definitely just keep it in mind and put God first because you couldn't do anything without him. The legacy I want to leave behind is um, I don't know that, that I went out there and I just gave it my all, but also that I made it fun. Like I said with Walter, Walter Davis, it just seemed like he was just having a good time, you know, competing well, but enjoying what he did. And I, you know, I want to go out there and I kind of want to give that same vibe. I just want to go, you know, go to the meets and just, just kind of have fun. We did the work, we put the work in, and um, you know, you just got to be confident in what you do, be confident in what you're training. Coach Mouse is always saying that. Uh, you know, we, we put the work in and you go into the meets, it, it, it should be fun. It should be just going through the motions. And so, um, you know, we're gonna work hard, but at the same time, you gotta enjoy what you do. So that's one thing I just definitely wanna leave behind. The best part of being a Gator, um, I'll just say the Gator Nation, the support, the support you have, um, you know, coming from a small school that I did, the track and field wasn't a big thing. It was uh, baseball and football. And, you know, when you, when you come here, there's nothing like it. The SEC, there's nothing like the Gator Nation. No matter what sport you play, there's going to be hundreds of people behind you. And, um, you know, once we win that national championship and go back to the football game and you just have the crowd cheering, it, it's just an experience like no other. So, um, you know, I'm proud to be a Florida Gator and, you know, plan to finish, finish my time out and win another championship. Blocking out the survey. My dad said that I'm gonna do it someday. Well, guess what? That day is today. Hey, let the light go me.